What's the best flavor of high chew? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Haichu Japanese fruit candy made its way to the US back in 2008. Since then, every really? American who's tried it is like, I love this. Is it gum? Can I swallow it? <laughs> right. The answer is yes, you can swallow it. I checked. And we've come to discover that the highly chewy Haichu has a very dedicated fan base. So come on in, welcome, welcome to the mythical world, Haichu fan basers. And in the spirit of Halloween and eating more candy than we probably should, we are hopping on the high choo choo train Doo -doo. and trying every flavor in existence to determine the best. It's time for Gut Check High Chew Edition. The mythical crew has scoured the internet and every gas station candy aisle in town to acquire every single high chew flavor out there. Would you believe? that there are 37 yes. distinct Haichu flavors. I would believe it. And what about three that are not even from the US? Are I would also that? believe that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah That's yeah. right, so 37 including the ones that aren't technically American. But we got all well, none 37. Of them, none of them are American. We got all 37 here. After we try each flavor, we're gonna give it a score of one to 100 based on our initial gut reactions, and then we're gonna take a closer look at the top four scores to determine which high chew deserves the title of the highest of the chewiest. Now I've of course got my scoring aid here. Thank you guys for always thinking of me. Why is it got a thinking tooth Thinking lowly on it? of me. Is it got a tooth on it because it's just to remind you that what we're about to do is bad for our tooths? Yeah, that's a good point. Teeth don't typically um, represent chewing, they represent Decay. Oh, it's just okay, right. It's just the teeth. The tooth represents chewing. But what I'm just what represents about... chewing typically? The tongue. Uh, cheek course. muscles. <laughs> cheek muscles. All right. I guess you're right. Teeth pretty much represent yeah, they chewing. Pretty much do. Uh, I know how this works. Okay, gentlemen, are you ready to stuff your mouths with chewy goodness? I this haven't morning? eaten anything today. I'm so ready for just the first thing to be in my mouth to be some squiggly sugar or something. Well, I have good news for you because that's what it's going to be. If you need a refresh at any point in this tasting, we have some refreshing Topo Chico on standby and your mythical oh, yeah. sip and slide oh, sippers. My goodness. Huh. We're starting out with the high chew flavors that made them famous. It's the fruit category and lots of it, starting with green apple. Oh, this is a good start. Mmm. That's good. Just as good as the Jolly Rancher, maybe better. Mm. Wow, this is gonna be the longest gut check <laughs> in history. Well, you have spit buckets, and also you oh. can. Oh, Thank wow! You. I actually didn't know when I said spit buckets they were gonna come in at such a coordinated pace. <laughs> um, and also, you know, you can bite half seas. I want to get the whole experience. That, that's not gonna help. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that's the whole thing. I think you get everything you need to get from the chewing, so. Oh my gosh. I think I've, I can adequately score that. All right. Oh, I forgot. Green I apple is really good. It does taste Ooh. like a Jolly Rancher, but it never stops happening. And then it has that gum-like consistency, which is gonna be true of all of them. I'm gonna give that a solid 80. I mean, that's a really good flavor. 89. Whoa! Holy Lemon. Horses. Lemon? 10. I don't like lemon. It tastes like every lemon candy out there, like a lemon starburst. Not great, 35. Great. Oh. I mean, that one- like great bubble gum. Great thing about a high chew is that no matter how hard you bite into it, when you release the bite, it doesn't stick in your teeth. It's a, an amazing miracle. This is really mild. It tastes just like bubblicious great bubble gum. Like they're getting the, the flavor from the same factory. But the flavor, I would call it a little weak, but still great. 79. <clears throat> I feel like it got worse as I went along. 68. Mm. Black cherry. Oh. Oh, my jaws. I'm gonna be, I need to be massaged later. Don't love that. I'm gonna give it a 41. 55. Might I recommend bringing the spit buckets, you know, up, up 
up to your up oh, to your mouth. You don't want to. You don't like to see yeah. that. You don't want to see that. The well, I'm gonna. You know, people are gonna have to see it 37 times. All I'm right. just. You know. That's fair. You mean you're not enjoying that? That's yeah. Fair. Watermelon. Oh. They're going to the Jolly Rancher factory. I'm getting their flavors. Mm-hmm. I typically don't like watermelon flavor. It's I pretty dang think good. Th this is a lot better than a Jolly Rancher. I disagree. I think it's the consistency, man. I'm surprised. You're getting more of the flavor because it's like juicing your mouth a lot more. 76. 62. <laughs> How about that? I loved it. Um. Grapefruit. Oh gosh, the spider caught it. Grapefruit? V, wake up! Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's refreshing, man. Hmm. I mm. like that a lot. Me too, man. It, it almost tastes healthy. <clears throat> it kind of wakes up your face. 81. I'm gonna give it a 90. <laughs> wow. Have you Pineapple. looked in your bucket? No, I don't want to look yeah, in your don't, bucket. Don't look in your bucket. What'd you say? Pineapple! <laughs> <laughs> We're all confused today. It's very accurate flavor. It's kind of frustrating because I just feel like I'm it's so accurate that I'm eating a pineapple that's inedible. 50. I like it. But not a whole lot. 61. Oh, now I'm stuck on my tooth for a second. I couldn't get it, couldn't release. Watch yourself. Juicy peach. Oh, juicy peach. All right. Ow, ow, ow. I got my lip. I bit my lip. This has a different consistency. There's it's something thicker. inside that's thinner and the outside is thicker. You're right. That's the juice. Oh, it's falling apart in my mouth. I think I can swallow this one. It is disintegrating quicker. I don't know how to feel I don't about that. Love. Yeah, I'm attached to the. I feel like this goes against the principles of high chewness. I agree. I'm gonna give it a 55. Um, I'm so confused. 50. This is a different category, I guess. Juicy. Well, it's still in fruit, but now you're gonna try just peach. Oh, okay, so it won't be too Good. juicy. Good. Good. <laughs> oh my gosh. You remember how this works? <laughs> oh, you know what? Having tasted Juicy Peach and now tasting this, I definitely believe that the original formulation of Haichu should not be messed with. That's right, man. Even though the flavor is not as strong and it's not as juicy, that consistency is, is great. I'm gonna give it a 69. I don't like that peach 69. flavor a whole lot though. 49. Mango. Mm. It's kind of like starting a, a long distance race. You can't go in too aggressive. This one's harder. No. Mm hmm. I really like mango, but I, don't I actually like don't this like this. Uh, 39. It tastes a little rotten. 34. Mango reduced sugar. Oh gosh. What? That's a thing. A little easier to chew. Mm. Five. It tastes absolutely horrible. Especially after tasting those other ones. One. Kiwi. Kiwi? I need a palate cleanser because that was horrible. Kiwi's nice. I do not like this. It doesn't taste like kiwi. 22. Oh, it's getting worse. 17. Banana. Oh, you're going to eat Here's this. trouble. She's having to unwrap this one. <laughs> Tastes like banana Laffy Taffy. B, you didn't have your Wheaties this morning, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> we still love you, V. You and your gloved hand. Makes you feel like a, a dental hygienist. But the opposite. Because of the candy. Yeah, the arch nemesis of the hygienist. Kind of like watermelon. I typically don't like it. I don't like banana flavor. But something about this is surprisingly palatable enough to bring it up to a 29. Uh, I get a 52. Blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. This feels like a, 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 an appropriate flavor for a candy of this. I time. always get excited about the blue raspberry in candy world. When do you go to candy world? Every day in my mind. I'm underwhelmed, dang, mm. 52. I was hoping for better. 
57. Just plain old raspberry. Okay. All right. Better than blue raspberry. Uh, I like this. 61. 70. 7A. Blueberry. I'm always fascinated by blueberry flavored things because it never tastes like blueberry. I'm I'm giving out, y'all. And I'm hey, a champion strong. chewer. Stay strong, man. V, I'm gonna need you to preach you these for me. You're not even halfway through. Oh my God. I mean, you can do it. <laughs> You're almost halfway through. Look at how many do we have to go. I'm, I'm trying not to think about it. Um, I'm trying not to look into my bucket every time I spin it either. 78, I like it. It was pretty good. Uh, I, let's give it a flat 70. Strawberry. Oh, interesting. The key is a slow, deliberate clench. Don't take high chew on a date because you'll just sit there looking at each other with your mouth moving without communicating. That could be cool. Let's have a high chew moment. Like in the middle of the date, it's like, it's time for a high chew moment where we just stare into each other's undulating mouth. You don't have to look at my mouth. I'm not looking at your mouth. But that is a way to communicate sexual interest. Fine, 69. I don't like it. 42. <laughs> Juicy uh, strawberry. Oh, we know we're not gonna like this. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Um, forty-one. Forty. Red apple strawberry. I've never had a red apple flavored candy. Apple. Oh, okay. Something broke. So I green apple. Your jaw. <laughs> yeah. Something popped. Red apple is interesting because it's it's not sour. Red apple strawberry. It's red apple strawberry. I like it. V was so on. Sure, V. V was so on top of it. She was feeding you the next one. V's having a day, y'all. This one is just like the juicy peach. The consistency's messed up because of the double flavor. Um, Thirty-eight. Uh, no, I really like it. I'm gonna give it a eighty. Really? It yeah. Is, it had the consistency problem for me. Strawberry lemonade. Oh. Well, see, now you think that none of is the there, combos are gonna work. Is there anything else on your body that can chew? Like if your mouth gets tired, can you put it somewhere else first? Man, there's a couple other things I can clench. What's the next thing you could chew with if you didn't have to use your mouth? Prostate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stick the next one in my butthole. <laughs> the lemonade flavor comes from the lemon, which I already don't like, 15. 20. Strawberry reduced sugar. Oh God. <laughs> it comes apart ew, in shards. <laughs> Did something nasty happen? I, I yeah, chewed it yeah. a little bit. No, no, that was on link, that oh, one. Oh, I'm sorry. I think drool came out. Oh, good. And now, because I, I was taking a high chew out of my butt. Are you dead? This one got caught in my teeth. I gotta give it a four. That's awful. You can't mess with the consistency, too. Dragon fruit. Oh, exotic. Right consistency. I'm just not as familiar enough with dragon fruit to know if the weirdness that's happening is that. It is, dragon fruit's good, but it's sort of like, not as good as non-dragon fruit. 18. I'll give it a 31. Acai. Bowl? <coughs> Acai. That's nice. I got it pretty good. Mm, 57. It gets worse as you chew it though. Dang y'all, this is. 41. This is, this is tough. Juicy blood orange. Mm, orange. The juicy. Oh, I like that flavor, but I don't like the consistency thing. If you only ate the juicy, you might be convinced that it's, it's good. But in context, it can't go above a 50, so I'm gonna give it a 49. That orange is really good. If there's a regular orange, I'm gonna like that. 50. Blood orange, you mean. Orange and tangerine. Oh. <sighs> okay. Mm. All right, here we go. That's pretty good. 74. 60. Lychee. Okay, this should be mild, right? I'll put this on some frozen yogurt if you don't watch me. You don't like people to watch you when you're handling like lychee? Well, I don't handle it. I get the, mm. I get the yogurt baristas to do it. 
That's accurate, y'all. If you like lychee, you're gonna love a lychee haichu. 71. That is very accurate and very good. I'm going all the way to um, 78. They, they're really doing a good thing. I see why there's a whole community of fan people of this. Yeah. Lilikoi. Say it again. Lilikoi, <laughs> which is also <laughs> come on, passion come on, come fruit. Ah. Uh, good God, let's taste them. <laughs> That's kind of pleasant. 63. I 100% agree, 63. Okay. You barry melon. I did what? What? <laughs> You and I'm not giving it back. Mmm, <laughs> huh. mmm. That tastes like um, honeydew. honeydew. Seventy-five. It's a little soft though. <sighs> it started disintegrating. This is sixty-eight. This is starting to look like the bucket, like going into third grade with the teacher who like said no gum. Yeah, well, I'm taking this home and giving it to Shepard. And that completes the fruit category. Our next category is a nice, mild palate cleansing round of three flavors involving yogurt. Oh. Starting with plain yogurt. Cancel your plans. This is gonna be the longest episode of GMM ever. It just tastes like cream. Yeah. It doesn't taste like yogurt to me though. It doesn't taste like yogurt, but it tastes good. It tastes like pudding more than yogurt. 40. No, I'm gonna give it a, a 77. Blueberry yogurt. I do frequent that. <sighs> I gotta be careful on that left side. I, I got a weak left jaw. Well, up here is not a problem. Down here is a real problem. I actually don't, I'm not loving the yogurt. I'm gonna stay at 40. That was not as good as the regular yogurt, but I still liked it. 64. Strawberry yogurt. <sighs> How many yogurts we got? Cause you're gonna hate this all is the it. Others. She said three. Uh -huh. It's not as good as the blueberry. Fifty-seven. I'm, I'm sticking with my yogurt. Forty. And that wraps up the yogurt category. Oh, thank God. Up last is the high chew flavors that are a little bit extra and all over the place. That's right. It's the miscellaneous category, starting with blue Hawaii. Can you baby bird it? <laughs> I'll baby bird it. I need you to mama oh, bird it. It's a, why is it so little? Oh, this is the one y'all can only find one. Literally one? It tastes like deodorant. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. 21. 15. Yeah, I should have gone lower. Rainbow Sherbert. <clears throat> okay. Mm. My stomach is so confused right now. 51. <clears throat> we can do this, Rhett. We're professionals. 44. Raw Mune. Say what? It's a carbonated soft drink originally sold in Japan. That is really interesting. That's fun. Remember that when you want to mix up your high chew experience. It tastes a little like mm. detergent. I don't suggest that you find out what that tastes like though. You have totally ruined it for me because <laughs> that's totally correct. It I was, tastes I was like a, detergent smells. I was over here. Now I'm over here at 30. I'm at 17. Ah. Cola. Okay. Yeah. I hate it. It tastes just like those cola gummies. Nine. I go for uh, 54. Tropical smoothie. Wow, that cola has a strong flavor. I gotta get it out. Mm-hmm. Wonder what makes it a smoothie. I guess it's just a, it's a bunch of fruits. That's pretty good. I feel like I'm on vacation. It's an all-inclusive, but everything that's included is a little underwhelming. 73. 59. Pina Colada. Oh, well, you're still on vacation. Uh-huh. Mm. 29. Um, if you like Pina Colada, you like that. 61. And that concludes the miscellaneous category. Ooh. You have now tasted oh. all of the available high chews. Your scores will now be tabulated so you may more closely judge the top four high chew flavors. Oh. Look what I made. Oh, come on. <laughs> we are currently at the first ever Mythicon event. Yeah, we're there right now. We're in Austin. We brought the whole set and made it look just like it does in Burbank. Yep, kicks off this afternoon. If you're not there with us, hey, 
We get it, everybody can't be at Mythicon, but we do want you to see our live stage performance. Yes. We want you to experience it live along with everybody there. So we have created a streaming event that you can purchase and watch from the comfort of your own place of comfort exclusively on Kizwe. Yeah, and this is gonna be a special show. We're gonna be doing some things we've never done before and maybe never will do again. One time show. Okay, so we want you to be there for it. Go to mythicontickets.com. It's tomorrow night, all right? That's Saturday, the 30th of October. Is it 29th? The 29th. Yep, I knew that. Yep. Tomorrow is the 29th. Today is the 29th. And I'm in Austin, Texas. (laughs) Mythicontickets.com, 29th. Okay, according to you, the top four high chew flavors in no particular order are green apple, lychee, blueberry, and grapefruit, but before you crown the best one, a quick mention of the worst, yeah. you ranked the two reduced sugar flavors surprise, at the very surprise. bottom. Surprise, They suck. Now, we tasted green apple first, and is that why we gave it such a good score, or is it really, really good? It's really good, dude. Oh, yeah, that is good. I need to keep this in my hand, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it on the table. I'm gonna set it right on the package. So, lychee, like a little, I, I can like tell by the little packaging. Worm. This is one of the three that, is not sold in the US, we had to source it. So it'll be really frustrating if we make it the best one. Oh my goodness. It's They're so soft. It's softer. Mm. It might be a superior mm, that's good. consistency. Mm, I don't know about that. The flavor's milder, the chew is better, um, so that it kinda evens out. I'm having a difficult time. I'm having a difficult time opening all of them. Blueberry. Blue- is not in the running for me. So if I don't ever get this open. Oh, I like I like the cross section of it though. Remember Bonkers? This reminds me of Bonkers candy. It didn't last long. A um, little bit of Bonkers goes a I'm actually surprised this made it to the end. Yeah. This is the worst. Yeah, that can go, that can go in there. Because grapefruit, Oh, grapefruit's nice. We were loving that, man. It was early. It was back when our jaws still functioned properly, weren't permanently damaged. Oh, man. It's so refreshing. So, we're getting rid of this one. Oh, I know what my favorite is. What's your favorite? This one? Grapefruit. Yeah, for real. Uh, And you know what? I'm proposing that lychee just beats out sour apple. It's neck and neck. You can switch them around, but since they're not the winner, oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, you got it. We got, we're crowning grapefruit the highest of the high chewiest. chewiest. The highest of the chewiest. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, the lychee is definitely worth trying if you can get your hands on it, but if you're just in uh, North America and all you can get is the grapefruit and the green apple, you gonna have yourself a good old time. Yep. And if you want, no, no, no. Just give it here. Give this to Shepard. I want him to have it. And here's two more. Just put it in my bucket. Oh, you can hold no, it. And put it in my. I, okay. Hey. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Kaya. And I'm Colton. We're from Raptor, Idaho. We're doing a high true taste test, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thank you, Kaya and Colton. Love the energy. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us open different candy wrappers just with our mouths what? and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Get your tickets to stream our live performance at Mythicon, mythicontickets.com, exclusively on Kizwee.